Coming up on the DMT One to One Show, episode 68, on the 30th of July 2014, an interview with Alex Stacy, founder of Fat Drop, an advanced online platform for promoting pre release music. Hello everyone and welcome to the DMT One to One show where we cover interesting startups and digital music projects. So this week it's a real pleasure to welcome Alex Stacy, the founder of Fat Drop. So hi Alex and thanks for joining me. How's it going? Very well, thank you, Andrea. Thanks for having me on the show. It's great to have you. And so uh, let's chat about Fat Drop. First of all, uh, the company has been going for quite a long time, but uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you do and how it all started out? Yeah, certainly. Um, so um, uh, we we provide um, promotional a, a promotional platform for record labels, uh, PR companies, distributors uh, to distribute to to promote their pre-release music. Um, so it's a it's a number of tools, uh, including sort of creation of promotional campaigns and uh, mailing list management, and uh, we do a lot of uh, anti piracy measures, security measures, um, and um, yeah. So that's the kind of the core. core of it. Yeah, yeah. The core business. And so you started out in 2006, uh, uh, from, from what I understand. So can you tell us a little bit about how the company has evolved in the last few years? And also, of course, you started in Brighton, but you're also spread out now in Berlin and you have different offices. So how did it all come about? Uh, yeah, well, uh, I was doing an internship at a record label in, in, in Brighton um, and uh, just kind of saw what they were doing with their, their promotional campaigns, which was pretty much sending out CDs, sending out high numbers of CDs to, 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 to press and radio stations and, and things like that. And uh, it just seemed like a really in, inefficient and expensive method of, of, of doing it. And uh, sort of coming in every morning and running over to the fax machine to see if anyone had responded. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we just kind of thought up this, you know, surely you could be doing this in a more efficient way through, 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 uh, sending emails and 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 MP3s and uh, so um, yeah so so we've kind of built a prototype system and then and then thought well this is a this has legs you know this this could kind of benefit other other record labels so so we just kind of built it up from from there. Great and so uh, at this point have, have you have you always been self-funded? Have you taken funding uh, so far? And has it just been organic the growth? It's been organic, yeah, yeah. The, the the first year we were doing it, I was doing day a, a day job as well, yeah. and just kind of doing this in the in spare time. But then it's kind of grown through a small bank loan, and and uh, yeah, yeah. I think we're one of the few, one of the few. Yeah, bootstrap is what they call it. Yeah, one of one of the few companies these days. It seems that that doesn't start with a big pile of cash. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and so uh, let's chat about the evolution of the product. So uh, the company has recent, recently launched uh, a Fat Drop uh, 5.0. And so we'll talk about that uh, in a minute. But uh, talk us through, first of all, how the versions 1 to 4 evolved and, and uh, sort of how, how have you seen your market change uh, over the last uh, six years? Mm, OK, sure. Um, well, yeah, the, the, the first versions of the of, of the product was it was really just a, a feedback system. Um, we we had this 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 idea of of kind of swapping the main goal of the label then was of, of, of the label that we were working at was was to uh, to receive feedback on their forthcoming releases. Yeah. So the first concept was just really this feedback for, for downloads. Thing. So you can stream the track, and then you have to leave feedback. And once you leave feedback, you can you can have the the, the download. Um, and it was really just a kind of forced feedback system, which yeah. which uh, which people couldn't believe the levels of feedback they they were actually getting from it. You know, especially compared to sending out physical copies and 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 expecting people to post or fax back their their reactions. Um, so yeah, that 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 was the the first version, and then we've just sort of added a number of features on since then, from you know kind of multi-user accounts where 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 you can sort of have fine-grained levels of control over what each of your users can can do and permission systems, uh, through to like a, a advanced watermarking where we kind of are watermarking the audio, which is uh, really a a measure for. Um, 
if a pre-release promo does leak, you know, if someone yeah. finds it on on Pirate Bay or whatever, then then they can send that to us and we can identify who actually leaked the the, the promo. Sure. Um, um, Great. And so and so from there, uh, I guess the 5.0 version has really. Uh, uh, been a complete redesign of the app and also the introduction of new functionality that you hadn't really addressed before uh, in the way that things uh, you know, people can explore music on the platform. So how how does that differ from what you've done before and what is the new uh, platform all about? Mm, okay, well, uh, yeah, Fat Drop 5.0 is is an additional layer to the to the platform. So we're we're keeping all of the existing promo functionality, which is essentially a kind of a closed system where where a label would would uh, uh, would ha- keep a mailing list and they would send their their promotional music to members of their their mailing list, right. be that DJs or press or radio stations. And so, uh, the Fat Drop Five Point Zero platform is really a way that that uh, a client can can make their releases known to an audience outside of their their mailing list. Um, so. From a from a from a DJ or a or a music journalist point of view, it's a platform that you can go to to find out what your favourite record labels are, are releasing. Um, it has a kind of following system where you can find your your favourite record labels and, and and follow them, uh, and then receive notifications about what what they are releasing. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, and so and so the the system is based around a system of cues. So how, how did you uh, come up with the cues, and what do they contain? Okay, yeah, well, cues are um, essentially a kind of cut down promo. Um, so rather than receiving the full full quality downloads of the tracks, they may just contain information. So it yeah. may be something like uh, you know we've got an album coming out uh, by this artist in 2015 you know it might be as little as that we don't have the artwork yet we don't we can't tell you much about it yet we don't have the track list yet or it might be down to you know we've got this album coming out in a couple of weeks time here are the audio clips this is where you can pre-order it here's a link to our website or the store that we're we're sort of giving a preview on it or or you know here's where you can stream it or so so it's um really entirely up to the up to the 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 client how they want to promote their releases through this platform but um but it can contain essentially pictures it in information youtube clips uh you know links to anywhere they the the label wants yeah yeah exactly that, that that's great, and and so like I, I was I was having to think about uh, sort of how these tools are pro- have progressed over the last few years, and uh, one thing that struck me is that perhaps uh, back in uh, you know you guys now have an office in Berlin, you're, you're in Berlin right now. Uh, perhaps back in 2008, 2009, uh, I might have had an impression that a company like SoundCloud, for example, may have really uh, you know gone into you know competition with a company like Fandrop, for example, in the delivery of uh, of uh, uh, demos to a variety of industry people. But SoundCloud has kind of gone the consumer route rather than uh, keeping with a professional route. So do you think that's kind of, uh, you know, reopened or, you know, that's never really affected you guys as far as business is concerned? Or or were you concerned for, for a while there that SoundCloud might actually encroach into your space? Well, um, obviously, we're, we've always been aware of 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 them um and um and I'm, i mean how i kind of saw it when they were when they were kind of getting going and and and, and growing really rapidly uh was that was that they they were more involved in uh their kind of bedroom producer making yeah something and then sending demos to people and getting feedback on 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 those kind of things and then and then once it's kind of picked up by a label and and packaged and the label kind of puts their stamp on it and says you know this is what we're actually releasing then they would use a kind of promotional platform like like ours yeah um i always thought the old uh soundcloud um promotion thing which which they were sort of when when they started there was a big thing of uh you know someone has sent you and yeah. five thousand other people this track and uh um and it seems to be less of a kind of big feature of theirs now. Absolutely, kind of, yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, so it's more yeah. of a consumer product now. So I know absolutely right now. I don't think it's a, it's a, a, I think it's going into a completely different space. But it was interesting to hear your thoughts when when they first launched and and what you thought about it. So uh, talking about sort of how uh, journalists and uh, press people receive tracks. Uh, or, you know, what is their preference? You know, have you uh, have you had a lot of feedback when you were working on 5.0 on what people like to see and uh, also how that's affected the evolution of how you present tracks uh, online and the, the accessibility as well of the service? Um, yeah, to, to, to some extent, I think um, um, journalists, n- n- people don't like to be sent stuff that isn't kind of the finished product. I think yeah. that's something that, that that we hear quite a lot. You know, when when someone's sending something to, to people and saying, we want your feedback on this, you know, uh, we've got these uh, like eight slightly different mixes and we want to decide which ones to actually release. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's like, well, that, that's your work, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, 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 so I think people want kind of, you know, a nice finished product. They want it to be simple. They want... Uh, um, and I think to some extent people, there's a thing going on where, where in order to keep up with music, people have these quite archaic systems of, right. of you know, y- you're receiving some stuff through SoundCloud, some stuff, stuff through a variety of different promo platforms. Um, you're keeping up with some artists or labels on uh, Facebook or their band camp or their, you know, like numerous different ways to to kind of keep up with with what's going on and and you're trying to check out the beatport charts and you're trying to check out the the the, the juno charts and it's it's a uh, it's it's extremely complicated to to actually keep on top of all of it you yeah. know and then there might be some people that are emailing straight to your inbox uh or the dreaded you know, mp3s are still coming yeah 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 the sort of one click download sites you know um and um and so I think it's a it's a it's a complicated system, and that's really something that we 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 wanted to address in 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 five point is is having a system where um, it can kind of tie in all these different systems. Right. So it's a centralized place to actually announce what you've got coming out, and then from there that could link to absolutely anywhere. However, you're actually how, however you're. You're, you're doing it but it can be a nice kind of centralized place where it's still up to the label whether they they are selling music through their through their band camp or whether they're preferring people to download it from iTunes or right. or, or 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 beatport but to kind of try and try and centralize it somehow um, that's awesome so that's- no, that's fantastic, and and you know, uh, of course, if people were uh, to uh, wanted to know more, they can head to fatdrop.co.uk, uh, where you can find a, a, a short video that illustrates uh, what Fatdrop uh, 5.0 is all about, and you can also, of course, explore the FAQ and uh, look into the uh, you know registration process if uh, people wanted to join the platform uh, either as recipients or as clients. And uh, uh, of course, you know, do, do you have any territorial restrictions, or do you have labels uh, joining from all over the place? Yeah, no, we have people joining from from all over the place. There's no there's no real territory resti- restrictions. Um, as of uh, as of yesterday, we've just introduced a new uh, a new price plan as well. Great. Um, until yesterday, the uh, backdrop was only available to um, uh, the Factrop 5.0 platform, which which actually at, at the moment is just an invite only yeah. uh, stage. It's not it's not fully launched yet. Um, we're sort of gradually rolling it out, um, but yesterday we we um, launched a new price plan, which actually has no monthly fee. So it's essentially free to use the the 5.0 platform for awesome. any labels that that want to use it. That's fantastic, and uh, that's great. So uh, once again, it's fatdrop.co.uk. And uh, uh, Alex, it was a fantastic. It was fantastic to have you on, and uh, uh, look forward to seeing what's going to happen with the 5.0 in the future. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank, thanks for your time. And thanks so much for joining us on the DMT One to One show. It comes out every week. You can check it out on digitalmusictrends.com and follow through to the links to the One to One. Also, check out the weekly show, which comes out every Thursday, where we chat about the latest news in the music tech industry with a panel of experts from all over the world. Thanks so much for listening. Have a fantastic week. And until next time. 
If you enjoyed watching or listening to the show and would like to find more, head on to digitalmusictrends.com.